Cold Enough for Snow is about a mother and a daughter who travel to Japan together. It's their first trip away together as adults and takes place mainly across the city of Tokyo. But beneath this sort of everyday dialogue, there is, I think, a deeper dialogue taking place. And that is one that's very much about values and beliefs and the relationship between life and art. Uh, and also about family and memory and migration. The process for writing the book was more of a kind of intuitive backwards process. It was more about trying to work out the things that I'd been thinking about for a long time and trying to understand why they had significance. I think I was also trying to say something about the nature of inheritance and fragmentation that can come with a history of migration um, and how you can feel both very close to something and yet very distant from it often at the same time and what that might do to a relationship with a parent. I don't know if I really think too much about the question of legacy but I know that something that I always look for when I read is uh, a sense of recognition. Um, it's that sentence or that passage that tells me I'm not alone in my madness, um, that someone else has thought or felt these things before.